So, how common are red herrings during projects like Hidden History? I like to think they're not that common, I'd like to think they're fairly rare, unless you're looking into a big game company, maybe then, you know. But for the Hidden History video, I did come across one, and it's this, Underbreakers. Looking at it, you know, it's just like, oh, okay, it's dwarves. Uh, I guess it looks a little similar to Project Dwarka, but it's just a dwarf. Well, with the context of this being made by the same artist that worked at Pressplay, who also made artwork for Project Karu, Knoxville, and Dwarka. Not only that, but later, the same person was contracted to make key art for Deep Rock Galactic. He didn't make all the key art, but he made like the ones that I think most are familiar, familiar with, like the box art especially. That one is him. So of all of that context, I'm pretty sure, just like I originally did, you guys are also making the connections like, wait, Underbreakers was made in between Project Dwarka and DRG. Is this what the art style was during like pre-alpha phase and all that? And maybe Underbreakers was an early name for DRG. That's, that was my theory. But, instead of going with the theory or anything, I first decided that I should get in contact with the artist himself. Just straight up ask like, hey, what's the deal here? Could you, could you clear up like my own little speculation before I write it into the script or something stupid like that? So I created an entire like art station account just to message this dude. And he gave me a very detailed response. But... What it basically boils down to is that my theory was wrong, but the connection was correct. He said that the way he described it is that it's like insider fan art. Now you might be like confused, like what the hell does that even mean? And I don't know if I can explain it properly, but he made this um, shortly after Presley got shut down, I assume. Uh, he heard that the same like five dudes who later became six dudes we're gonna make something like Project Warka again. That's what he heard at the time. I assume he didn't even know what the game would look like yet, not even like the developers probably knew what the game would look like. But it was inspired by that idea. Maybe he knew it would be a bit more sci-fi, and he made Underbreakers out of inspiration. So it's, I guess it's quite literally insider fan art. He made this more as a parting gift, because, you know, they were kind of done professionally with all the press play shutting down. I would show the thing, but I I don't know. He's not like really a developer of the game. I don't I don't know if that's a good idea. Just show the chat. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I still like to think that we're getting a small peek at what DRG would have looked like if they would have went for a darker situation, darker style. And yeah, hey, that's an interesting glimpse, if anything. Now, art style wise, I do prefer the current art style more because it's like a weird thing where it's like a low... It's like lo-fi models combined with detailed models, if you understand at all what I mean. Because everything is like polygonal in that game, but at the same time it's detailed. I like the art style of the game, I never shat on the art style. I just have issues with the feel of it. So, yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting to bring up Underbreakers. This was not an early title of the RG, although maybe the developers after seeing this was like in the like pool, but Whatever. It's, it's not DRG. That's what I'm just trying to say here. An interesting glimpse at what maybe DRG could have been.